The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier. And our first reading is from the first letter of the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, called by the will of God to be an apostle of Christ Jesus and Sosthenes, our brother, to the church of God in Corinth, to those who have been consecrated in Christ Jesus and called to be God's holy people, with all those everywhere who call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord, as well as ours, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I am continually thanking God about you for the grace of God which you have been given in Christ Jesus. In Him you have been richly endowed in every kind of utterance and knowledge. So firmly has witness to Christ taken root in you. And so you are not lacking in any gift as you wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. He will continue to give you strength till the very end so that you will be irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. You can rely on God who has called you to be partners with His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And our response is taken from Psalm 145. Day after day I shall bless you. I shall praise your name forever and ever. Great is Yahweh and worthy of all praise, His greatness beyond all reckoning. Each age will praise your deeds to the next, proclaiming your mighty works. Your renown is the splendor of your glory. I will ponder the story of your wonders. They will speak of your awesome power, and I shall recount your greatness. They will bring out the memory of your great generosity and joyfully acclaim your saving justice. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said, so stay awake because you do not know the day when your master is coming. You may be quite sure of this, that if the householder had known at what time of the night the burglar would come, he would have stayed awake and would not have allowed anyone to break through the wall of his house. Therefore, you too must stand ready because the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Who then is the wise and trustworthy servant whom the master placed over his household to give them their food at the proper time? Blessed that servant if his master's arrival finds him doing exactly that. In truth, I tell you, he will put him in charge of everything he owns. But if the servant is dishonest and says to himself, my master is taking his time and sets about beating his fellow servants and eating and drinking with drunkards. His master will come on a day he does not expect and at an hour he does not know. The master will cut him off and send him to the same fate as the hypocrites, where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord.